Hey, this is the peacock cichlid tail. All your fish tails involve, of course, fish. But in this case, this is going to involve a fish store. So I'm going to a local fish store. I only have a couple places to go in town. One of the a pet store has limited, you know, aquariums. Sometimes they have good stuff. Normally don't go there. It's usually waste my time. So I don't go there. Don't go to Walmart. Just don't do that. But I go to Mike's. Now Mike's, not the best fish store in the world, but I've gotten some very, very unusual cool fish. Definitely cichlids from Mike's. Now, that's not the name of the fish store, but Mike's is a place that you look around for the fish because there could be some cichlids next to the guppies. There could be some cichlids next to your piranhas. They're all throughout the fish store. So I go in there, I'm looking around, I'm wanting an unusual fish, and then bam, I see one. It's not marked, it's, he usually there's little signs, little <clears throat> index cards to, to note the price of his fish, and then there's no, there's no price there. And there's just one that's similar to the, those fish, it's very big, it's a lot bigger, about twice the size, full, full grown almost. And uh, it's really cool. It's $28.95. I thought, I don't want to spend that much. But I would like to get maybe the, some of the smaller ones. So I go, Mike, hey, uh, what about these fish? How much are they? He goes, $28.95. So the smaller ones, I'm thinking, I usually get those for $10, $12 at the most. And I'm on a budget. I'm not really needing to spend $30 on one fish. And so... So what I do, I, I leave there and I kind of upset, kind of mad, no fish in hand, no fish in the bag, and I go home, I'm kind of upset, and then uh, a couple of days later, something happens. So stay tuned for the second part of this video right now. So does the second part of this fish story, this fish tale, involve my cat? No, it does not. It involves the fish that's behind my cat in this 75 gallon aquarium I see that nice looking OB male right there see that female right there well actually I had that female that specific female release fry in the aquarium not too long ago just like about a week or two ago and that was right after I came home from the fish store a day or two later. Even though I was, it had been a couple of days, I was still upset about not getting my fish. Now that OB here mixed with this OB here. So what kind of fish do you think would come out? Normally, in the past, I've always mixed my peacocks. But to have two OBs mate together... I would never dream what came out. And that's what makes this fishtail excited. So let's look at what came out of this fishtail. Alright, here's the fry from those two OBs. Remember now, I just bred these fish with two OBs to get these fry. Went to the fish store looking for some strawberry peacocks. And bam, I've got about 10 strawberry peacocks that came out of their bunch of fish. I also have about 20 OB peacocks. So, even though I was mad, disappointed, almost spent $30 on a one fish, now I have 10, spent nothing. I already had plans to, to get these babies out. Did it, stuck with my plan, and everything turned out great. This has been a Peacock Cichlid Tale. Thanks for watching.